The nastiest situation happened not among enemies, but among the so-called loved ones. Love means you're willing to nurture another life without forming opinions. It should be a relationship of nurture, not uh, opinionated. These are not your loud ones, these are your extra limbs. You are not able to stand on two legs, so you need four or eight or twelve, I don't know how many. These are extra limbs and when limbs are not well coordinated, they tangle up, you know. There are four or five brains, four or five power centers in the home and for it to be well coordinated, certain things have to be done. One way of doing it is with an enormous level of connectedness, not emotional. Emotional connectedness just brings dependency. Emotion is something to be enjoyed, it is the juice of life. You don't make your emotions work, you should not make them work. You can make your thought work, you can make your body work, don't try to make your emotions work. Whenever you try to make your emotions work for you, your situations turn nasty, isn't it? <laughs> yes or no? Initially, I love you works. After some time, you trying to make emotions work for you. The harder you try to make it work, the nastier your life gets because emotion is not for work. Emotion is just to sweeten your life. Your thought and your body should work. Emotions just there. It's like a flower that you wear in your hair. Nobody wears anymore. Okay. You don't make these flowers work. The microphone works. Something else works. The flowers need not work. They're just there. That's all. Emotion is like that, it's just there, pleasant and wonderful. If you try to make it work, if you try to extract some life from around you with your emotions, it is bound to turn ugly. So if you don't have a working brain, if you're not capable of thought, then you try to use your emotion to make it work. And it may work sometimes, that's the whole problem. It works initially and then you try to push it further, then you are life turns so nasty, so horribly nasty. Among people who are supposed to care for each other, the nastiest situation happened not among enemies, but among the so-called loud ones. You agree with me or no? Am I being too harsh on you? No. Yes or no? So, uh, people have their opinions. If you love somebody, you should have no opinion, that's what love means. Love means you're willing to nurture another life without forming opinions, that's what love means. We are loud ones, we have strong opinions about each other. No, that means you're trying to fix life. An opinion is a way of fixing a person into a straitjacket. Love means nurturing a person into a new possibility. These two things cannot go together. No way they can be together. You make some judgments for the moment to nurture it better. You, you rearing children at home, you have to make some judgments where the child is right now. To rear them to a next possibility, not form an opinion on him. The moment you form an opinion, you have no interest in nurturing that life into a new possibility. You only want to fix it in a shell of your opinion. And you will be disappointed if it doesn't go by your opinion. No, that's not the way it works. If you want to live closely with people, it should be a relationship of nurture, not uh, opinionated. It will not work like that. The fundamental mechanics are wrong, so how will it work? By accident, because of the newness of the situation, because it's honeymoon time, it may work for some time, but after that it will not work. So, uh, 
if truly it's a loving relationship, there should be no opinions, there should be only nurture. <laughs>